Guys, we're talking today about shanking and slicing. So I've got a little drill that can hopefully take the shank away, that awkward strike from hosel, round surface, hitting the golf ball, another round surface, and the ball's going, or them both going in two different directions, hosel hits ball, round surface is hit round surface, like snooker, ball can go anywhere. We need to find a way, or I know of a way, that can prevent that from happening. So initially what makes the, the shank happen, there's numerous things that can make people shank. I see it as, or a, quite often when I coach, this is the most common one I see, is when people come down, they get into a good position, then when they come back down, the right arm straightens very early, which pushes the hands away from the body. So the hands go, so if I address here with this yellow cane, my hands are on the inside of the yellow cane. When I come back, when I come down, if my right arm straightens, my hands go towards the yellow cane or even out past the yellow cane. So then I come back down, I either come across to try and stop that from happening, to, to, to take a negative out of that positive, if you like. So if this is positive, I'm putting a negative in to try and cancel it all out. So my hands have gone near the yellow cane and then I cut across. And of course, what can happen there is if I don't get it back enough to the left to get to the sweet spot of the club, I'm going to keep the hosel going towards the golf ball and that's when I'm going to get this shank. Okay, so how do we get rid of that? The right arm straightening is the problem. That's what's pushing the club over to towards the golf ball and the hosel towards the ball. Okay, so what I like to think about here is I take my address position and I want to return my hands back as close to their address position as possible. So my address position is here, my white glove. My hand is here, I come back up, I want to get back to that position and I don't want the right arm to straighten and go out here. Difference between the two? Out there. Okay, so a good way to do that, so that's very well, that's all very well doing that with no golf ball, but we need to try and incorporate this when we're hitting golf shots. So I want to get sure my hands are now inside this yellow cane. So this yellow cane here, let's just put a wee channel here. So my hands are running along this channel. Okay, I'm lined up to my shot, my hands, there we go, are in this channel, and I want to make sure when I come back down, my hands will go out a little bit, because centrifugal force is pulling forces away from the body, so yeah, they're going to get dragged away from me, but I don't want them to get dragged away too far, so I want to consciously try and bring them back down this channel, so when I address the ball, my hands are probably, it's hard for me to see, but they're more on top of this cane, and then when I come back down to hit the ball, I want to make sure they're in this channel here and not going out this cane or further. Okay, so address position, hands are good, happy there, coming down. I don't want to feel as though my hands are back in their address position running down the channel. Okay. What that does immediately for me is it makes my club shaft, my dynamic line angle of my shaft lower and it feels more spin out at impact, more of a throw of the club head out to the right. So rather than coming in with the hands closer and so high, I now have the hands lower and the club head passing the hands a little bit more. So I'll feel a little bit flicky, but all that's doing is the club head is releasing correctly. So there, hands down through the channel, so my hands actually feel lower and closer to my body through impact, which makes the club, sweet spot of the club, come in contact with the ball instead of the hosel. There we go, good, could do that all day. Again, hands down the channel. That was really good. The more you do it, the more you're going to get the hang of it. I'm really feeling that now. That was nice drawing that one, hands in the channel. There we go again, everything feels lower and a little bit flatter because we've shallowed out that. Drop that dynamic lie angle of the shaft through impact, keeping the hosel and the pulling left motion away from the golf ball. Give it a try, see how you get on. Guys, if you're liking these videos, keep sharing them around. As you know, I'm on Twitter, S Johnson PGA. People's Pro Shop is my Facebook page, and also a free subscription to my channel on YouTube.